Right, I was back doing another video here. Just wanted to show you guys how I set up sort of a house cut uh, on cat grade. This one's just big house cut. It's got some big one, two to one batters in it. So I'll show you the process, how I go about setting it up. But basically the way cat grade works, it works as a section. So as if you were looking at something straight on a road, a swale drain, whatever, you're looking at something in a section. Um, there is ways you can do a, a square hole. It's uh, yeah, it's a bit of a challenge to do it, but I've definitely done it before, and I might do it at a later date. But for the purpose of this, um, this is how I go about setting it up. But I've got a peg here, another peg up there, and then one more down there. So I'm gonna set up basically the house pad, and then a two to one batter up that side. So I'll put my phone in my cradle and I'll show you how we do it. So I'll be going in designs, create, alignment and section. I use the bucket focus. Down here you make sure your bucket focus is selected on the right corner tip that you want it on. Uh, for this instance I'm going left side. So left side of the bucket, hover over that left peg hit add and I'll just track down and do the same on the next two Alright, so I know my finished floor level is 916.10 so I'll go in here go change this first one Six point one zero. Enter on this last one. Nine one six point one zero. And if those two endpoints are selected, you press this one here. Brings that all down into a flat pad. So that's the uh, elevation of it. Carrying off that last video, I realised there wasn't any sound when I went to edit it. So, um, so these are my three pegs. There's the peg back here, one there and one over there. So that's one, two, three. Um, and once you got that, so you're still remembering that you're in a section. So if you're doing a house cut, um, all you really need to do is just the, these, this two side, presuming it's a square house cut. Um, you just do this side, this side. You'd figure out off the plan how far it is across. And then um, on the design, you'd just step that and you put it in meters on on your screen but for this one here is my section one two and then I'm putting that flat pad in and just carrying that across so what you go you go next um, this would just have it zero so um, for the purpose of this I'll Delete these. And we'll just go, so it would start fresh like this. You'd go add, say uh, 10 meters for my batter. Um, it's a two in one batter, so that's 50%. And then you'll get your slope calculator out um and work out off your percentage how many degrees that is because it goes off degrees so for a two to one it is 26.57 degrees uh, and minus we'll get it to go down so that's our two in one batter and then this will be this will be the main focus, so obviously you tow your batter and then this is showing the bit of your pad so you work out off the plan how far across your house pad is so say my next, I'll go add point um, my next, my pad could be 50 metres long so I'll just go 50 metres and then that's your flat pad then if you wanted another batter off the end you go there um, minus 26.57 enter 
another 10 meters and then you've got a fill batter on that side as well um, as well if you want on the in hinge point at the top you can add another one there change that to zero degrees and now you've got a a bit on the top there minus 26.57 and for this one change that to zero so now you've got a, a pad on the top if you're cutting it square you wanted to trim off two in one batter um make that longer so yeah two in one batter and then your pad so you'd hit next and you can see your model here and these lines is where it's focused so my pegs are at the toe of my batter which is no good for uh, where I need it so you press this arrow here and it moves the focus to your different lines so now it's moved focus to the top of the batter hit it again and then now the focus is in the bottom of the batter here where we need it um, so now you just hit next like sometimes as well it inverts it um, so now I've got an outside batter but for this one it's just invert it and then there's our batter so hit save and we go into it now here's our batter and we look up on top and we've got a nice hinge point on top as well and then all we have to go into alignment select alignment then you can select the toe of your batter now you just follow your lines and you can cut your batter as I've been doing here so that's how it's done cheers for watching